Welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how to convert your wheel you modelled from scratch in Blender to Grand Theft Auto 5 complete with its LODs. So off screen I created LODs for the rim that Justin modelled in part one of this tutorial. Uh, the process for optimising it is basically just going through and removing loops which is as simple as selecting loops around the wheel obviously all in the same place and then going in and then pressing x and hitting edge loops like so i did that two times so one for l1 and another for l2 and we have the fully optimized wheel here so what we're going to do is we're going to convert it a lot at a time just to make life easier so it's in sort of manageable categories if that makes any sense it sort of staggers the conversion so it's less uh complicated and overwhelming so here we've got our bolt uh obviously our barrel and the center of course and our tire and select all of these like so and file export dae I've got some operator presets here, so GTA 5, which turns everything off other than selection only in main. In geometry, applies the modifiers to a viewport, or from the viewport point of view. In armature, nothing. In animation, nothing. And in extra, nothing. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it models. And then we got that as well. So we'll just call that wheel tutorial L0 because it's sending the L0 lod. We'll hit export collada. Then we'll jump into Z modeler, file, import. And then we will find the folder, which is in here. Going to import this as well. So I've got some materials. So, you can import just any standard uh, wheel from the game. Uh, a lot of them have like specific names. So there's SPT or SPRT, and then there's DRFT. You can search for any of those terms in OpenIV, and you'll find what you're looking for. But for this case, I've just taken one of um, Justin's wheels and imported it because I know this one has the standard tie wheel black and also the paint as well. So. We'll turn that off for now. And then we'll hit import. We we'll models. We'll import the DAE. Turn off rescale model. Turn on shift EV channels and optimize vertices and import. And we'll select everything. Good properties, vertices, format. We'll turn on tangents, primary color and secondary color, and then we'll hit apply. Now what we can do is go to the material browser like so. Find vehicle generic small spec map paint four. We'll drag and drop that over wheel paint, and then vehicle generic tie wheel black over the other two, like so. So now the materials are set up, all looking good. There's a lot of random edge flip. That's not too big a deal. Let's just grab ourselves an EMV. Make it look nice. go now what we will do is attach all of these to each other so the bolts attach to the center center attach to the tire barrel attach to the tire as well and we'll call this dot mesh like so and what we'll do is with l0 selected we'll convert this to a compound like so this doesn't have a default mode so we haven't included it and we will delete our old one, drag our new one in. I'm going to call this one two sports by one. Like so. Now we'll import the rest of the LODs. So 
turn of L0, turn on L1, and I'm going to do LT at the same time as well. I'll do operate presets, GTA 5, models, and we'll do we'll export that. Go to Z modeler, and then shit, I closed by mistake, sorry about that. Then we'll import L1, L2, import. We'll select it. Properties, vertices, format, tangents, primary color, secondary color, hit apply. And then we'll apply the materials again. Like so. Also going to reset this to world. One thing to note when exporting from Blender is you want to um, reset all transforms. I forgot to do that. So sorry about that. It's not too big a deal though in this case. So we've got our bolts here for L2, and then we've got L1 as well. So I'm going to start by attaching L1. And then we'll do L2 as well. So, so now we've got L2 and L1. We'll go to do sports, we'll open it up. We've got L0 here, and we'll switch to L1. We'll lock this. We'll drag and drop L1, and we'll drag and drop L2, like so. Now, to create the other variant, depending on how you mapped it. Just going to create a copy of both of these. And I'm going to call this uh, Stu Sports L1C, which means Chrome. We'll select all of this. I'm going to replace uh, the paint with Title Black. That should be Chrome. We may have to remap it, but I'm fairly sure that was mapped to Chrome uh, in the tutorial, so it should be fine. Now we will export both of these. Mark will export. I'm meant to change the extension to YDR. And then export. And now we'll go to OpenIV. We'll go to your wall pack, DLC, RPF, time 64 with levels, stu w pack, or whatever your folder is called there, vehicle mods, and then in this case, stu wheels mods underscore RPF. And we'll go to the export folder, and we'll drag and drop this so we've got both wheels now and they've both got their lods so in this case 9900 2649 1759 so it's a decent set of lods and obviously it's the same with the other wheel now we're going to copy the name of this like so we're going to DLC RPF common data and carcoles.meta then Stu wheel O one, Stu sports O one, and then the example label, and I just named Stu sports O one as well. And then we will duplicate the entire wheel. And we'll call this O one C. If your uh, wheel, for example, has a custom tire, like the tire writing or tire lettering, it's basically set up as an entirely different model with a different tire, and you'd put that in the wheel variation section. Uh, that you put the model name in the wheel variation section, and that would uh, obviously determine that. So you'd hit custom tire or custom wheel or whatever it's called in the game, and it'll change it. But we're just doing two separate wheels for this. One is chrome, one is not. Or one is chrome and one is paint, sorry. 
the rim radius is the same radius as the pop tire scale in vehicles.meta. They both work the same way. This just overwrites that value. So when you apply an aftermarket rim, when the tire pops, it will scale the tire down based on a different rim radius or rim scale. Um, I know for a fact that these tires are all the same, so I'm just going to leave it as 398.000. Obviously, if you have a different wheel and tire setup, you'll change this. Uh, I don't know what rear does, and that's pretty much it. Your carcoles.meta for wheels will look a lot like this when you get it. Um, obviously, there are different categories. These categories are all shut, but if you ever want to activ activate one, all you need to do is delete this uh, dash. So, for example, if you wanted wheels inside... VWT muscle, we delete the, um, the slash, and then we hit enter, we do left arrow, and then the slash, and then item, and then the right arrow, and then you can basically just copy a wheel entry from here, paste it underneath, and change it to whatever you want it to be, but we're not going to do that because we don't have any wheels in VWT muscle. So we've got both our wheels here sorted, so I'm just going to copy this name and save it. And then we're going to go to our global.oxt, which is in here. So example label, example name, we're going to replace this with Stu Sports 01. I'm going to name this to, uh, don't really know what to call it, so we will just call it wheel. And then we'll do the same with O1C, so wheel one, All right, like so. And now we will test it. So obviously, if the add-on wasn't already added to your DLC list.xml, mine is, we would copy the name of it, wherever it is, do wpack, and update, update RPF common data, DLC list.xml, and then you'd duplicate the line and then just add the name in. But I've already got it, so we don't need to. And now we will test. So let's uh, load the game up and test it. And the game shut for no fucking reason. It does this, don't know why. It's getting to the point where I need to reinstall it, but I am dreading that process. Don't really want to do it until maybe expanded and enhanced or any big content update. Because any big content update will destroy um my modded game's ability to work anyway, so that's generally when I do a reinstall. So now we'll go to the wheel category, so wheels, sport, go to chrome rims, and they should be at the bottom. I forgot to drag and drop the names, so they're still broken, but that's fine. So, yeah, we got our wheels in here, and then we got the same thing, and in chrome, which is nice. So that is pretty much it for the tutorial. Obviously, um, I forgot to drag and drop the names, but I can show you guys how to do that here. So update RPF, sorry, update times 64 DLC packs. Your wheel add-on, DLC, RPF, time 64, level, uh, data, language, American DLC, RPF. And then we just drag and drop the OXT file. 
Obviously, it's not going to let me do it because the game's running, but that's basically it for adding the names. And we've got our wheel now. Looks pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. See you next time.